The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is from the first letter of the Apostle John. This is what we have heard from him and are declaring to you. God is light and there's no darkness in him at all. If we say that we share in God's life, while we are living in darkness, we are lying because we are not living the truth. But if we live in light as he is in the light, we have a share in another's life. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we're deceiving ourselves and truth has no place in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is trustworthy and upright so that he will forgive us our sins and will cleanse us from all evil. If we say we've never sinned, we make him a liar and his word has no place in us. My children, I'm writing this to prevent you from sinning. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the upright. He is the sacrifice to expiate our sins, and not only ours, but also those of the whole world. And our response is taken from Psalm 124. If Yahweh had not been our, on our side when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us up alive in the heat of their anger. Then water was washing us away, a torrent running right over us. Running right over us then were turbulent waters, and we escaped like a bird from the fowler's net. The net was broken and we escaped. Our help is in the name of Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. After they had left, suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother with you and escape into Egypt and stay there until I tell you, because Herod intends to search for the child and do away with him. So Joseph got up and taking the child and his mother with him, left that night for Egypt, where he stayed until Herod was dead. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious on realizing that he had been fooled by the wise men, and in Bethlehem and its surrounding district he had all the male children killed who were two years old or less, reckoning by the date he had been careful to ask the wise men. Then were fulfilled the words spoken through the prophet Jeremiah, a voice is heard in Ramah, lamenting and weeping bitterly. It is Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord.